Earlier this summer, I told y'all about the original Gulf Coast offense of the late 90s, right? Now let me present to you the return of the Gulf Coast offense, the 2018 edition as FAMU slithered their way into the Bull City to take on NCCU and me at conference play. And trust me when I tell you the Rattlers had them fangs out and were ready to strike. But the Eagles did have a good first drive. Niall Ramadan came out looking good. He hits Deshaun Stevens for 28 before finding Jordan Freeman out the backfield who weaves his way for 13 yards in the score. But uh, Eagles fans, this is where you might want to close your eyes because FAMU is about to drop 48 of them things in a row. Ryan Sunshine Stanley makes sure NCCU remembers the Rattlers with this 43-yard bomb to Marcus Williams. That's seven. Very next drive, Stanley finds Chad Hunter across the middle for 38 yards. He's down to the NCCU three-yard line, and I got a whole lot more Mr. Hunter in this one, so stick with me. The Eagle D does make a red zone stand. They hold FAMU to a field goal, so that's 10. Chad Hunter back at it with this nice 28-yard snag. Make that 17 straight points. Eagles back to punt and FAMU's Bishop Bonnet puts the pause on the punt. Jalen Dow scoops it up for six plus one and that's 24 points in a row. And yes, we're still in the first quarter. Xavier Smith catches this one on an out route like, uh, excuse me, bruh, bruh, you gonna have to miss this tackle, my dude. That's an embarrassing 25 yard completion. They didn't score on that drive. I just really wanted to show him shake that tackle. Now, on to the second quarter. The Rattler rushing attack feeling left out until Bishop Bonnet, fresh off the pump block, shakes off the tackle, turns on the Jets, and runs 69 yards before anybody gets a hand on him. Two plays later, Stanley finds Hunter one more time. He bad Chad, aka Ocho Quattro, goes up and snags this play of the week nominee right out of midair. And yes, if you lost count, that's 31 unanswered points for the Rattlers. And Chad, the touchdown hunter, he ain't done yet. He catches touchdown number three on the night in the very next drive. Falling backwards, quarter of the end zone, it don't matter. Chad Hunter was all the way in his bag in this one. He finished with a career high 135 yards and three scores. You see he lets the dreads hang while letting us know, yeah, bruh, that's three touchdowns in one half. 38-7, fam you. And Eagles fans, it's not getting any prettier on the field, but on the bright side, the Rattlers only scored three more points before halftime, and the marching 100 stayed in Tallahassee, so halftime is all NCCU. And the irony of the marching sound machine playing hot in her was not missed on me, but as usual, they killed it. Along with another great performance with some area high school bands that had what looked to be some future HBCU band members getting down on their first taste of the big stage. So it's 41-7 going into the second half and the Rattlers are still about that action. Deshaun Smith starts right, then he cuts it all the way back left, outrunning a flock of Eagle defenders who eventually catch him and bring him down at the four yard line, but only after he gets 61 yards. Azande Ray finishes the drive off stretching out for the score. It's 48-7 Rattlers and that is 48 unanswered in a row points. The Eagles do get back on the board behind this 61 yarder from Jordan Freeman that he punches in at the one yard line, but it's not nearly enough as FAMU leaves O'Kelly Riddick Stadium with the 55-14 win, and I think it's safe to say that the Gulf Coast offense is in fact back in Tallahassee, but it's still right where we last saw it because it definitely ain't uh, over there, shall we say. 